Like I've been depending on oysters last all, all my life and uh, last uh, 15 years it seems like uh, they're depending on me now. So that's why I'm, I'm into the project right now, get them back um, the way they were. My name is uh, Joe Gugu and uh, I've been doing oysters for the last 50 years. As for, uh, and we, we started what, March 1st, uh, 1973 when I started on oysters and it was 50 years this year, March 1st, I've been on this, almost the same project that then. But back then there were a lot of oysters, but these days it's uh, mostly to, to recover the oysters so we, because of that uh, sickness we have. Like uh, MSX uh, killed 95% of our stock uh, 2003 and um, they never came back yet. Personally, to me, it was pretty bad because I, I lost 400,000 oysters at the time. And like the age oyster was around maybe 25 to 30 cents each at the time and uh, that's a lot of money back then. I was walking along the shore and that was quite a few years ago. and. Uh, it was springtime, and um, I seen oysters. There were six inches in water, and I said to myself, they had to freeze in winter time. Uh, six inches of water, then it was over two feet of ice. This one, 2003, when I, I got hired again by the band to rec recover an oyster, oyster project, and it uh, came out pretty good, but they, nobody knew what to do at the time. So even the biologists now are coming to me to see what, they, what I've been doing, and uh, they're trying to copy me right now, my way, so. Okay, now, these are the ones we're supposed to be doing this afternoon. This now. This is the spat that got cut on last year. So these are mostly small, because uh, like a uh, cocktail and small. And few, few market, but not many though. And once they said, uh, Watch out, the fresh water doesn't agree with uh, MSX. That's when it came to me that I have to put them in an area where there's a lot of fresh water. And uh, that's what I do now. And um, in winter time, I freeze them. And um, MSX doesn't kill an oyster till after six months. We're at the McDonald's pond right now in um, the uh, Russia Farm. Uh, south side of Waikagama. So. It got not too much salt in here, that's why I like it in here, because the MXX doesn't grow in here. Because uh, MXX goes, uh, once it, when it comes, uh, if it's uh, salty enough, the MXX will be in here, but it's not salty enough here yet. And uh, that's why they're, they're not dying here, in here, because the MXX doesn't agree with the fresh water. Uh, MXX, they say, uh, you can access came by a boat. I don't know if there's, that's true or not, but why I see it, back then, first time we seen green, green crab in 2002. I think they, they were the host, but uh, nobody wants to believe that. They think it's the boat bringing it in. Like, like right now, my oysters are uh, mystic free, but, uh, but nobody would believe that. And we, ch we checked them out uh, last year and two years ago. There was no mess on them. Yep, good on. I mean, that was the whole project uh, when I started. 
Not, it wasn't for me, it was for the oysters and uh, for the industry to come back eventually. And it's coming out pretty good, but uh, it's going to take another 15, 20 years to be up there. Because MX6 is not going to go away, but you've got to, uh, you've got to live with it and work with it, that's it. For 50 years this year, I've been with the band and uh, working with the oysters. And, and I never regret that day yet, so love doing it.